underneath okay, the door. Okay, so we have the block underneath the door. Yeah, make sure there's no gap, you know, they can easily get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you check underneath the, the cabinet, make sure there's no hole behind. Mm, okay. So I see you've got some tape there. Yeah. And Chili blocked the hole. Yeah, definitely blocked the hole. Alright, and there's the rat and there the little snuggle hammock. Yeah, they're, they're about five weeks old. Five weeks old, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is Meisha. And Hi, Meisha. the first time. <laughs> the first time yeah. you've had to uh, uh, socialize them, huh? Okay. Are you excited? Kind of. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you can uh, slowly open the door. Try not to make a very loud noise. to be able to jump yeah. so that's too far for them yeah. to jump off, so you right? saw that you Amisha, you get the pouch more close to your body yeah nope mm -hmm. women jumped anyway that that's that can be expected because they don't know her so this where did that rat go did it go behind the uh, bath uh, but, yeah. the toilet yeah. yeah the toilet that's almost inevitably what they do in the bathroom yeah. so what do we do you hold, you hold it all right so there, I think I see the rat. Yeah. So now what do we do about this? Well, you oh, don't, you no, don't have to is. grab it immediately. Let it, let it explore a little bit. So it won't be freak out. You immediately try to grab the rat. Yeah, it's kind of behind the garbage can there. Uh, yep. Oh, there he goes. They're really good at hiding. So he's going to try to find a place to hide. Yeah, that's expected. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> she doesn't know this bathroom. She jumped down. First thing she did, immediately went behind the toilet. <laughs> they have like a sixth sense. Where is the best place to hide? Amazing. All right, so now what do we do? We, we're okay. going to try not to worry too much about that one. Yeah. So you've still got one left. Uh, oh, where did it go? Okay. Well, that okay. one's actually pretty uh, friendly, actually. So let's see what the rat's body language is telling us. Doesn't look too happy, like. Mm. He's kind of running away. Uh, try not to grab it, just leave it alone. Okay. Yeah. Let it explode. It does look a little bit tense. Yes, now. like you are a big tree for <clears throat> You can see the uh, fast, jerky movements. That is a, a nervous rat. Now, if it seems like it's kind of hunching, tensing its body, and uh, you can kind of sense that it might be getting ready to jump or something like that. Um, right now, I don't think it's going to jump, um, but it does, I mean, you see the wide eyes, it's a little bit nervous, but um, usually when it's kind of making some little grindy uh, face or something like that. That's not a bad sign necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, Major, you might want to hold that uh, pouch they were using before and just put mm -hmm. it right next to you so she feel. Yeah, let her go inside yeah, there if she wants to. She wants to go inside. You, you yeah, lay it upside down. It upside down. Mm -hmm. You do it this way. Yeah, those clips. Just See, just it went inside. See, this is. And yeah. then you can slowly reach her inside the pouch and try to stroke her a little bit, then she feels yeah. safe. Yeah, she's so yeah. inside the you, pouch, you the pouch so she's happy now, because she feels more safe. Slowly. Slowly, 
Uh, no, she's going out the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's okay. It's okay. You just leave your hand inside there. She'll come back. Yeah, she'll come back. You, you want her to be next yeah, to you. Yeah, make the pouch right next to you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, she's cleaning herself. That's actually a good thing. That's a good sign when they clean themselves. That they're a little bit more relaxed. So... This baby seems pretty good, actually. Are you? Yeah. So what do you think? Do, you, do we want to try to get the other baby now? Yeah, but maybe, you know, just for her herself to hold this one and get the other one at the same time, it's almost impossible. Uh -huh. To maybe socialize them separately. Mm. In okay. this case, just one jump off, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is she in the pouch? No, mm -hmm. she's she is. Yeah, there she is. See, they like to go into the uh, baby baby smug, snuggle hammock. It's not a pouch. This is a snuggle hammock. This this is where they live. That's their house. So. Naturally, she feels safer in there than in almost any place else. See, I made the tiniest little noise when I was walking, and she startled. They have very sensitive hearing. So, what do you think, Misha? Uh, she looks a little scared. She's a little bit scared, but not horrible, right? Hmm. All right. So what we can do is up to you, do you socialize with that one and you want to put this one back? Mm -hmm. You can put it back, but you still keep your pouch. Alright, so we're going to put the rat back, but keep mm -hmm. the snuggle hammock. Yeah. So let's, so since she's in the snuggle yeah, hammock, it's to easy. Alright. Yeah. Oh, there the she door. goes. Oh, the that happened so yeah. quickly. Alright, so make goes. sure you got to try to get the other one. Try to, um... Slowly okay. reach behind the toilet and try yeah. to get her to go. Try to get her to go inside the snuggle hammock. Yeah, and this way. She, so just toilet. yeah, look carefully, see if you can figure out where she is, and just put the snuggle hammock where she can reach it and see it. And and when you hold the snuggle hammock, you need you need to grab the top. So when she goes inside there, you slowly reach. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is the rat? Alright. So remove this. You can go behind and have a look. Oh. There she is. Yeah. Alright. Okay, she's, uh, she's here. Yeah. See, um, it's okay. Yeah, so she's inside there. She's in the snuggle yeah. hammock. Slowly grab it up, slowly to reach the top. Okay, you did the same thing like before. No, she's you, hold it, you hold it right next to your body just like before. Oh, no, she jumped again. She jumped again, okay. Alright. You do it several times, eventually she's, she will calm down. Because she doesn't trust you yet. Okay, she obviously went back to the toilet. Yeah. This can happen, you know, repeating several times for some rats before they mm. want to be with you. Mm. You try to slowly reach her. Oh, okay, she's here. See, she can go away faster yeah. than you can see where she's going. Slowly, slowly. I know she's kind of freaking out because she doesn't know you. Bye. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. Just follow her slowly and uh, 
try to reach her. You know, eventually she will. Yeah. I'm telling you, uh, you you be patient for five to six minutes of following her and do repeating do this. She will eventually calm down. Okay, now try to block both ends of that. Yeah, and hold it, hold it right next to you. Yeah, next to your body. Next to your body. Yeah, like that, holding it. Like that, so your hand. Yeah, that's next to your body. Okay. Yeah. Try to feel it. Yes, the swelling. Okay, two more. See, now, right now, because she's jumped down and run around several times and felt like she was being chased, her heart's beating fast, she has a lot of adrenaline, she's scared. You, you've got to give her a chance to calm down. You see? Because while she's still scared, she... It's basically her fight or flight, you know, instinct. That's why she keeps jumping and running away. She's in that, in that mode where she feels she has to, you know, do something to survive. But uh, if you give her a chance to calm down, she won't be urgently trying to run away anymore. Okay. Now, what do you think she should do now, John? Maybe try to slowly get your hand there, your fingers. Just She's, you, you're going to drive her out the other side. Okay, just stay here. Just stay here. Then slowly, just stay here. Don't move. Just stay there. Yeah. Then stay there for a while. Let her get used to the smell. Then maybe a little bit. Now remember, whichever, as long as she's nervous, as long as she's nervous, whatever direction you're coming from, she's going to try to run the other way. So if you put your hand in one side, she's going to immediately try to run out the other side if she can. And then, as you know, she's going to jump down and you're going to have to chase her around again for a while. So you have to kind of anticipate what the rat is going to do and outsmart her a little bit, you know. So if she's going to try to run in some direction, you want to kind of block, you know, anticipate which way she's going to be running and kind of block that or, or make you, or use it. You know, if you want her to go into the snuggle hammock, then make her run towards the snuggle hammock. So is her hand inside there now? Are you able to touch yeah. her a little bit? Here, turn so I can see your other hand. Yeah. Uh, I see the right. tail there. Yeah, see? So you're actually touching her right now. Yeah, very gently. Very gently touching her. And she's got the other side blocked, so she's not running out. So basically right now, you're kind of um, force socializing her. You're basically desensitizing her because she found your presence very scary. You're forcing her to accept the fact that you're next to her and she can't get away. But after a while, she's going to realize, well, you know, maybe I didn't like this, but it's actually not so bad. You know, nothing so bad is really happening here. I can smell this person. I can touch this person. He, she's not eating me. So, uh, Misha, did, did you want to eat the rat? No. No, see, the rat needs to understand that too. <laughs> You're, right now, the rat is not sure 
what is the purpose of you holding her like that? Is it because you're going to eat her or something else? Basically, what you're trying to show her is that you mean her no harm. At some point, she might even like to be with you. You know, because that's her home and you're basically there like a litter mate would be sitting next to her, touching her in her home and you're not hurting her. So at some point she might think that you could be her friend. Um, what do you think, John? Yeah, I think uh, it's pretty good for her for today, you know. And so, maybe all right, how do we put her back? We can try to, no, you, you still yeah, pull uh -huh. on both sides. Yeah. Because yeah. remember, she can still jump down yeah, if yeah, she's nervous. She's yeah, probably so calmed, yeah, she's yeah. calmed down yeah, a you, lot. You have to do it on your own because that's how you show other people you can do it. Yeah. And try to, try to open the cage. Yeah, try to open the cage slowly, slowly. Yeah, open it. And get the whole thing in slowly. Slowly, yeah. yeah. And, and put it back. It's better to put one here and one here. Yeah, slowly. So you don't freak out the other one. Uh, the other one looks kind of freaked out already. No, this one. Okay. Just here. Okay. Okay, so now we can do another one. Yes. When you're doing this, you try to block the entrance. See? Block the entrance. So. Here. That's good. That's good. Okay, then close the door. All right. So what happened here? Um, one of the rats was kind of cooperative, but the other one actually jumped down and ran away. We had to chase it a little bit, but eventually Misha caught it, and Misha, you were able to socialize it for a while. Good job. Well, you don't look thrilled by this, but it wasn't that hard either, was it? Yeah, I guess so. No, I guess not. All right. Well, good job. Thanks a lot for demonstrating that, Misha. So that's the end.